I think it's time to go trash picking, but my car is up on a jack. Why is my car up on a jack? Well, because I had a screw in my tire, that's why. So now I'm plugging my tire with this tire repair kit. Maybe I'll link to that in the description. I'm telling you guys, if you're gonna go out trash picking, especially if you're going scrapping and going to the scrap yard, you are going to get flat tires and you will thank me when you have one of these tire repair kits in your glove box, as I do. So let me get that wrapped up and we can go hit the garbage piles. See, this isn't pretty, but I just saved myself 20 bucks because that's what it costs to have your tire plugged. No offense to the tire shops of the world, they offer a great service and I appreciate them, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Well, here we are. I had to park on a side street because this is a main road and I almost just got rear-ended. But there is a Craftsman tool chest and uh, we gotta see what's in it. Wow. They didn't leave us much, did they? Hmm. Do you want some spark plugs? A clamp? I don't know. I guess we could take the spark plugs. Do we want this? Is there anything in here? Hmm. There's some sockets down here. Can you see in the dark? That's a socket extension. That's an SK socket. Wow, that's a bad boy. Big bad boy. All right. SK. Let's see. A couple of random sockets really isn't that great, but you know, it's a dollar. And I think lately I've been getting too picky about what I'll pick up. All right, speaking of which. Uh, I might take this, but that's gonna take some disassembly, so I'll do that on my own. Hmm. Well, that's crazy. All right, I guess that's the end of the pile and uh, my telephone is ringing. So I'll see you at the next one. I see a Tonka truck. This one's in rough shape. I don't know, what do you think? I know what I think. What I think is that I'm gonna take it one way or another. Cause it's just so cool, but. This is one of the ones that's got the little hydraulic piston for the bed. All right, we might have to jettison this later. It's taking too much space in the car, but right now, it fits just fine. What else we got? A little scrap metal. complaining that my lens isn't wide angle enough, but it seems too wide right now. More scrap metal. There's like some scaffolding here. Blower works well for its size. Yeah, we don't need that. And just a bunch of other junk. But that thing is one gnarly looking Tonka truck, isn't it? This is kind of a weird grouping of junk, but I'm gonna check it out anyway. Brake rotor. We love brake rotors. And do you want the amplifier? No, that's junk. Uh, another brake rotor. Oh wow, a whole pile of brake rotors. Looks like brake rotor heaven back here. There's boxes and boxes of brake rotors. Just boxes of them. Actually, let's see. Are there boxes and boxes? 
well. On his wheels, too. Technically, I guess you could say there's boxes and boxes. Because two boxes counts as boxes. Right? So. Here are boxes of brake rotors, and here are boxes of brake rotors, so that's boxes and boxes, but, you know. I think that I might be exaggerating the number of brake rotors. Wow, look at this. A Mac Tools tool cabinet. My goodness. Look at all the junk in here. Air horns, turnbuckles, empty stuff. I, uh, I think we might have to take this whole thing. Is it supposed to have drawers though? I don't know. Then over here, here's another one. Wow, this is bonkers. Jeez, I'm crow. I don't know, I'll have to make a decision about that because those take a lot of space, but they're nice. Old computer, yeah. Diagnostic box, I don't know. There's stuff in here. But, you know what, I think it's gonna be down to this cabinet and the brake rotors. Oh, no, 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 look. There's your wire. And you know what, I think maybe I wasn't exaggerating before, because here's another box of brake rotor. And here's more boxes of brake rotors. Holy cow. It is just brake rotor heaven out here. And that thing too. All right, I'm gonna um, try and get organized before I before my eyes bug out of my head. So there it is, nice and neat. And here, here in the trunk are all the brake rotors. There's got to be, I don't know, ten of them. This one's brand new, even. And then we found like a magnetic socket rack. See the sockets don't come out because there's a magnet in there. Part of a torque wrench. These things are great, like a giant crow foot. They're no name brand, but they're cool. A few other little sockets, bits and pieces. Man, that was a great score. Well, here's a pile full of boxes. They might be full of LP records. Um, but no, it's just papers and stuff. So we will not mess around with that. Tuck it back in nice and neat. And be on our way. See, usually when there's boxes that are all like, you know, folded up, taped up, they don't have much in them. But you always gotta check. We're on another main road with a lot of cars going by, but I think I saw something cool in this pile, so I'm going to check it out. Wow. Look at this. Who throws this away? Seriously? Who throws that in the garbage? That is like the coolest guitar. I mean, I think, I think the Beatles played this on their first album. Wow. That's cray cray. What else do we have in this pile? I don't know, this is very awkward because cars are going by and this camera is very big and cumbersome. I really do think I need to get a GoPro just for like subtlety's sake. Muhammad Ali. What's this thing? Yeah, it's weird, like this pile really just has nothing but garbage in it. But it had that great 
Do I dare? Do I dare take the speaker out that's propping up their hot tub? That's probably trouble. This is a big cord right here. I don't know what that's for. Some kind of water heater or something. Anything in here? Huh. Another year nicer. That's you. Happy birthday. What's it say inside? With some years we become more adventurous. We're ready for anything new. Yeah. Ready for a trip to the landfill. Okay. This pile is uh, horrible, but every once in a while you find a horrible pile that has an amazing thing in it, and that's our amazing thing out of this pile. It's slim pickings out here in terms of video footage. You don't these people know I'm trying to make a video? Can't they throw out enough stuff for me to record for my viewers? What's in here? That's fun. That's so weird. It's like a toolbox with jumper cables in the bottom of it. I will take it. I'll take the whole thing. And here's another toolbox. Might be a little bit of a challenge to take this one. What's in here? I gotta remember to talk loud because the microphones are on the front of this camera. Uh, I don't know, this is an unremarkable toolbox. Let's see what you do. You take the toolbox and you load it up with other stuff and then uh, people think that it's a full toolbox. It's like a little bit of toolbox trickery, you know? What else? Oh, look at this. Anyone want some Fritos? Oh, these expired six months ago. I probably wouldn't eat them anyway, though. Look at this. A little knife. We'll throw that in the toolbox. See? Now somebody at, like, the flea market opens his toolbox and they say, Look, I just found a knife in there. How much for the knife? I don't know. A dollar. Does anyone know how much a Kirby vacuum costs? I heard it costs a lot. I heard this vacuum is worth like, well, I don't know what it's worth, but originally it costs about, what, a thousand bucks? 800? So it seems kind of crude and crass for me to cut off a proprietary Kirby plug on the proprietary Kirby cord, but uh, it's rough in these streets. Trash picking ain't no joke. We'd be cutting cords all day. I think I should take the rest of it, some dirty aluminum. Uh, no, I don't really feel like having this in my trunk. A little too cumbersome. So I'll just take my precious cord. <laughs> so, sorry, Kirby, your thousand dollar vacuum just uh, became a zero dollar vacuum. Look, it's more blow molds. The reindeer is only missing half of its uh, antler. These things, those are pretty cool. And then Santa and his sleigh. What do you think? Should I be taking Santa right now? I don't know. I got two friends who are out here looking for blow molds, so I think I'm just gonna leave them for them. Let, let them fight over them. Why do I need to take my car up with this nonsense? I just got a call from a friend who's out on this same route, and he said he hasn't found, you know, much of anything. But what's in here? Ew. Why would someone make a custom box for their Cavalier Dual 8 movie editor? Believe it or not, these editors used to be worth like a couple, two, three dollars, but not anymore. Then we got some pipes. You want those pipes? Nah, they're not heavy enough. And they're too long. You want one shoe? <laughs> Is this what we're doing today? We're all looking at pipes and one shoe? Good grief. Here's an interesting pile of stuff. And... I'm going to take this little globe thing. I don't know what that is. I'm going to take this 
cast iron. Whoa! Whatever that is. That's called an umbrella stand. Uh, what about this? An elephant vase that's already been broken and refixed, I think. No, we don't want that. Some bamboo tables. You know, I'm going to take a picture of those and send them to my friend. And now, down here, notice the lighting changed because we were just in the sun. We got this old battery charger. Oh, you know, that's thick copper right there. Can't even make it through. Let's see. Old folding chair. Aluminum pans. Rollerblades. Whoa. Some glass just broke, and I bet the people are gonna blame me for it. It's not my fault. These little decorative things. And I guess that's about it. It's two pretty big piles, but not too much in them. Are these skates any good? No. Aluminum pan there. Big dollhouse. All right, I'll get cutting on this, and that'll be that. Check this out. This big glass panel fell out of this display case. Smashed all over the street. It's not my fault. It had nothing to do with me. But you know what? I might clean it up for him anyway. Just to be a nice little, good little doobie. I was a good little doobie and I helped clean up the glass. And I think I got rewarded. Because look at this big beast of rim. Should have put on my glove though. That's a dirty rim. For whom the rim tolls? All right, where's Kirk Hammett when you need him? Wow. It's too big to fit into my car. It's a good problem to have. All right, we got it in there. Look, my engine was built in Eastern Europe, but my car was built in Japan. So, I'm on a hill and we gotta walk up the street a little bit because I overshot this pile. But I saw a thing and I, I know, I'm hurrying. I'm walking as fast as my tired old legs will carry me. All right, we don't want the cushion. Check that thing out. The Ford Apache playset by Mark's Toys. My goodness, and it's all still in there. Plus it's got some really dried out old, is that like Play-Doh? I'm wrestling with Play-Doh. Ew, don't eat that. Let's see what's under here. Oh, that's the Play-Doh. I mean, what do, you, what do you think? Should I take this whole Play-Doh playset? Like, this is the deluxe one. It's got the Play-Doh gun and all the forms. Make Play-Doh spaghetti and cookies and whatnot. Eh. You know what? Tonight is a slow night, so I have plenty of room in the car, and if I have to, I can re-gift the Play-Doh, but Ford Apache's coming with us. Remember earlier when I found boxes and boxes of brake rotors? Well, guess what? I just found boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of more brake rotors. I mean, I'm not saying that I've never found 10 brake rotors in the same day before, but this is kind of unprecedented. So we're gonna get those loaded up and uh, rest in peace, little stink bug. Those things get into everything. It's definitely getting dark. So I put on my headlight so that I could show you all these brake rotors. That is just a thing of beauty, isn't it? It's not exactly dark yet, but it's 
getting dark. Too dark to see. It feels like I'm knocking on Kevin's door. Alright. Do you guys really want to watch me as I cut all these cords? That's a fancy power strip. Right? I've never seen one that looks like that before. It's a big cord. I don't think I'm going to cut this one. I'll save that. These other crappy ones, I'll cut those. Shelf brackets? No. Styrofoam, dirty old shoes. Boards and stuff. Drywall? No. Alright, you guys can imagine what it's like to watch me cut these cords. You don't have to see it in person, right? You ever see a cord like this? It's like two cords in one. I almost wish I hadn't cut the plugs off the other end, but I did. So now I'm cutting that one. And we are officially done. They are all cut, and it is time to go. Is this exciting or what? I mean, has anyone fallen asleep yet? Well, I guess this is the part of the video where we just don't find any brake rotors or any fun stuff, and we just cut cords for a while. Cord cutting time. Sometimes I like to put the little plug in that little hole there. Let's see. Here's another cord on the back of one of these fake fireplaces. We can cut that. Where are we going to put this plug? Hmm. Here we'll put it in the top of the vacuum cleaner right there. You know, I'd love to take all these railings. That's got to be a hundred pounds of steel, iron, but that's just not going to fit in my little, uh, my medium-sized Camry. The sun's going down and we're in the shade. I wonder if we'll even find anything. Hmm. There's something. Now, these chairs are almost always rusted out. I forget what they're called, clam shell chairs, oyster shell chairs. This one's not rusted out, but it's ridiculously flimsy. So luckily we don't have to worry about whether or not to take it. Uh, these things are worthless. Hmm. Wiffle ball bats? Nah, we don't really need that. And an empty Smith Corona. M -m -m My Smith Corona. Empty. Wow, this pile looked like it had potential. But unless there's some actual booze in here. Want some champagne? That's full, by the way. Oh, this might be, this might be the ticket. Do we dare? <laughs> Do we dare take a half-finished bottle of vodka? Hmm. And a half-finished bottle of Bacardi rum? I don't know. I think I will take those. I think I will take them. I don't think I'm supposed to have open bottles of booze in my car though, so don't tell anyone. Here's the Camry. Here's a treacherous curvy hill. And uh, I think I've parked out of the way. I hope. Here's a car coming down the hill. Let's hope it doesn't bash into the Camry. Did you hear a crash? I didn't. All right, let's fast forward a little bit and I'll see you when I get to the pile. Now, why did I risk life and limb and potential destruction of the Camry? Because of this. This leaf blower. I don't know what brand this is, if it's a little wonder or what, but it's got a five horsepower Briggs on it. It's 
give you some light over here. Did that help? Yeah. Five horsepower Briggs. Pulls really well. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Then we got interesting little box here. I don't know what that's all about. Let me turn this light off. And uh, some other stuff. Hmm. Wow. The weird stuff you find in the garbage. Did you hear any of that? Oh, I don't want to drop my camera down the sewer. Coin mechanisms from laundry machines? Guessing these are totally worthless, but that's just weird. Carpet, and styrofoam, and beehives. Yeah, this is definitely the most esoteric pile I've found tonight. And you know what, with that, I think we'll call it a night. I think we got enough clips. So, as usual, I want to tell you guys I do appreciate you coming along and keeping me company. And until next time, I'm going to go and try and load this thing into my car without dying. While I do that, uh, thanks for watching. So here we are walking down the hill, back towards the Camry, crossing the street. I didn't die yet, but how are we going to load it? <laughs> the door's on the right hand side of the car. That's on the right hand side of the car. Uh, I'll have to figure it out myself. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm going to drive like this for 100 feet, so don't worry about it. Alright, this is going to be a little disjointed because I already kind of finished the video at that last pile. Thanks again for watching. But I wanted to show you how I got down here. Luckily in the middle of nowhere there's not a ton of cars driving by, but the thing is the people who live in neighborhoods like this, they know the streets really well, so they tend to drive pretty fast. But right now I'm on a side street, there's plenty of room, so I'm going to take this thing out of here. And I'm going to put it in here where I've already removed my front seat a long time ago. Alright, are we ready? No, let's get this out of the way too. My goodness gracious, this thing is heavy! It's not really that heavy. It's just awkward. What do you say? Can we drive home like this? With all that stuff on the roof? You know I'm going hardcore when I open this door because this door doesn't have a latch there. Doesn't have a handle there. It's hard to get it open. But we had to do it. It's like the more work I put into getting this blower in my car, the more I have to sell the blower for. What is this at this point? Like a $600 blower, I think? Well, it's in there. I wedged some stuff under here so it doesn't rock back and forth. And uh, now I just got to figure out where to put the guitar. Is that a good thumbnail too? Yeah, I'll use that as a thumbnail. Where to put the guitar so the guitar doesn't get all smashed up. Look inside here though. Can you see that? Is the camera focusing on that? It's hard to tell. But this guitar is all filled with debris from uh, <laughs> leaves and stuff. Hold on, I'll go get a light and see if I can illuminate it for you. See, it's all filled with leaves and junk. Like mice lived in there or something. You think that ever happened to John Lennon? Or George Harrison to their guitars? 
I doubt it. All right, there it is. What do you think? The guitar is probably not going to get smashed up. The leaf blower, I'm not worried about that getting smashed up. Everything else is stacked pretty neatly. Uh, we even got our little Tonka truck in there. So I think that's going to do it. I mean, for the video, I'm going to stay out here for like hours until it's really dark. But again, thanks for riding along with me. And until next time, thanks for watching.